Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between the Eufy X10 Pro Omni, right now it's retailing for $800, and the Dream X30 Ultra, it's retailing for $1,700. I'm gonna show you the video, but the Dream has to come down in price. The Eufy does just as good a job, so spoiler alert, but if you wanna see the video, continue watching. They are definitely gonna to have to put the Dream on sale for it to even compete with the Eufy. So let's get on to the video. So here's the base stations for both of these robot vacuum cleaners. Both of them have a clean water tank and a dirty water tank. On the Dream, here's it's a little bit bigger. Here's the clean water tank, here's the dirty water tank, and here's the clean and the dirty on the Eufy. They also empty out everything that's inside the robot as it picks up and vacuums. This bag you'll have to change once in a while. And over here on the Dream, here's a bag you have to change once in a while. Now the Dream does auto fill the solution. So here you're gonna put the concentrated solution in here. It's gonna mix the solution with the clean water and fill the robot vacuum up so that when it mops, it puts down solution and water. Now on the Eufy, you've gotta add the Eufy clean solution to the clean water tank. And it's gonna fill up the robot with the solution and water. Now the base stations will clean out the mop pads and then they'll suck the water out of this area that's all dirty into the dirty water tank. And at the end of the job, they're both gonna blow hot air onto the mop pads to dry them from two to four hours in the app when it's done with the cleaning of the mop pads. Now the Dream does have these little wipers that's going to help keep this area clean. Where the Eufy does not have those wiper blades. These are gonna spin around in a circle to kind of help clean this area up when it's dirty. So both of them have a dust bin that it's gonna vacuum your floor. And at the end of the job, it's gonna, um, it, this has a vacuum in it that's gonna empty out this dust bin. And they've got a filter you've gotta clean once in a while. Here on the Eufy, here's its dust bin. And you gotta empty out its filter once in a while. Both robots have LiDAR navigation up here. There's something spinning underneath here that's gonna map your house very well and it helps with obstacle avoidance. Now they both have a camera on the front and sensors um, that are gonna help with obstacle avoidance also. And when it senses an obstacle, it can take a picture of that obstacle and show you in the app. Now you can turn that feature off if you don't like that. And then they both have the bumper on it that when it runs into something, it's gonna turn the other way. And Miss Fiona has showed up for her treat. Now the Dream can do one thing that the Eufy cannot do. It can leave the mop pads back at the base station. Now both of them raise and lower the mop pads depending on if they're on carpet or hardwood floors. But you can set it up in the app that if the Dream is on carpet, it'll remove the mop pads, leave them at the base station and go clean your carpet. That way it's not dragging your mop pads on the carpet. The Eufy does raise them really high. But if you have really kind of tall carpet, they do drag just a little bit. Okay, so here's the Eufy X10 app. It does a really good job of mapping your house. You can put no-go zones, no mop zones, separate the different rooms, and it gives you a live update of where it is actually cleaning on the app. Okay, so let's tell let's do selective room cleaning and let's have it clean the kitchen. Now the first thing both of these robots are gonna do is they're gonna wash their mops to get them wet and ready to go for mopping this floor. So you'll hear some water being pumped down to the bottom. You'll hear the mop pad spinning and then it's gonna suck the dirty water up into the dirty water tank. Here's the Dream X30 Ultra. It does a good job of mapping your house also. You can put no-go zones and different things. We're also gonna do selective room cleaning and then we'll press clean. And that's what and that's what the Dream's doing right now. It's gonna clean the mop pads first. It always does this before you, it starts mopping the floor. And again, we can't really see what's going on down there, but here's the dirty water being pumped up to the dirty water tank. Now the Eufy's all done, and it's gonna start mopping and vacuuming this floor. Okay, so here's the Eufy with its vacuum running and it's spinning the mop pads and it can raise and lower those when it senses carpet. And here's the Eufy starting to clean some of those muddy paw prints. Okay, so the Dream is all done washing its mop pads. It's undocked itself and it's gonna start mopping and vacuuming. 
And here's the Eufy. When it senses carpet, it raises those mop pads. And it increases suction because it's on carpet. Okay, so the Dream is mopping and vacuuming. Now, it can move that arm, that, vac that arm in and out, depending on if it's next to the wall. Here's the Eufy. So the Eufy cannot move its arm to get up next to the wall, but the Dream can. Okay, so here's the Dream. Now, it knows that there's carpet there, so it's gonna go around it first. Then it's gonna, after it's done doing all of the hardwood floor, it's gonna come back, it's gonna go remove the mop pads then it will come back and vacuum this area. And here comes the dream underneath the kitchen cabinets. Now the Yuffie's doing a good job on this carpet. It's got the mop pads raised and it's increased suction. This was a lot of mess on this, so. Now these are pretty um, tough mud prints to get off, so this would definitely have to do with two passes. You can see with one pass, it doesn't quite get it. But you can have it do up to three passes in the app. So if you know you got a really muddy floor, you would just want to set it to where it would go over it three times. But they are getting them clean on the first pass. Yeah, they both do a really good job of mopping. I am very impressed. Okay, so the Eufy is all done. It's gonna come back, empty everything out of that dust bin and then it's going to wash and dry the mop pads. Here goes the auto empty on the Eufy X10. Now the Eufy does something that the Dream does not do. It can spin the brush backwards and there's a little comb that comes down to kind of help grab the hairs off of the brush roller. So you hear that it's kind of spinning the brush backwards and there's a comb that comes down. So these are doing an excellent job mopping. We've almost got all the muddy paw prints mopped up. Now I put some more hair and debris on this rug because the dream's going to come back and clean it. Okay, so after the Eufy is done emptying out the waste bin, it's going to wash and dry the mop pads. That's what it's doing right now. Okay, so the Dream is coming back to the dock station. It's gonna drop off those mop pads. It's pretty neat. You'll hear kind of like a clunk. Then it reattaches them and cleans them when the job's all done. Start the charging. Okay, did you hear that clunk? That's the dream, removing the mop pads. Mop pads removed. Now it's gonna finish vacuuming that area. Start drying mop. And so the Eufy's drying the mop pads. You hear a fan kick on, it blows hot air onto the mop pads. There it can leave the mop pads behind. And now it's gonna travel over to this area and finish vacuuming. So it also does a good job of vacuuming. 
There's a lot of dog hair, dirt, and debris on that carpet. Okay, so it's all done vacuuming. It's gonna go back to the dock, reattach the mop pads and clean them. And it's also gonna auto empty the dustbin, everything that the robot has picked up. And we'll see how loud it compares to the Eufy. So there's the fan that's drying the Eufy. It is a little bit louder than the one on the Dream. Starts charging. Okay, it reattached the mop pad. You heard that clunk. Mop pads installed. That was the Start Dream. Auto Here's the auto empty on the Dream. It is a little bit quieter than the Eufy. And now the Dream's gonna wash the mop pads and dry them. Again, as I'm doing this video, the Dream is $1,700. That's, that's just way too expensive for this. The, the Eufy is $800. I hope this video helps in the future because I imagine they're gonna drop the price on the Dream X30. It does have some nice features. I like that the mop pad moves. The auto intelligent mode where it kind of senses where the dirt is and helps clean it better, I think works a little bit better on the Dream. The Eufy also has that. As you can see, they both did a, the Eufy kind of did one pass over all of this, but the Dream kind of went back and it kind of sensed where the dirt was and went over it a few more times. Now I do think the Eufy did a little bit better on the carpet as far as vacuuming. Again, I bought both of these with my own money. That way I could give you the completely honest review on both of them. And right now, the, the Eufy X10 is just the way to go. And it's not even on sale yet. So let's do obstacle avoidance. Let's test the cameras out on them. Let's see if it avoids poop. We're gonna put some fake dog poop out. Okay, let's go over the scoring and then we're gonna show it cleaning carpet and avoiding poop. Now, the Eufy X10, it got 95 out of 100. That's an A plus in my opinion. Okay, so the Dream X30 Ultra, it got a 92, and I think I dinged it really good on price. Yeah, $1,700, I gave it a three. I probably should give it a two. I mean, the Eufy, $800, it gets a five out of five. Now, the Dream, or the Dream does remove the mop pads, and it also has an arm that moves the mop pads, so that gives it a little bit higher score, but the Eufy was a little bit quieter, but the Dream was quieter on the auto empty, 77 compared to 70. But the Eufy was actually quieter vacuuming compared to the Dream. It was 83 vacuuming. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, the Dream cleans and mop pads with hot water. I don't know that I necessarily need that. I mean, it dries the mop pads when it's all done, so that's what I think helped prevent odor, but the Dream actually does heat the water that actually spins around and washes the mop pads. So that is a little bit different. Okay, so here on the X30 Ultra, I'm gonna do a zone clean. So let's start doing, let's do a zone clean. It's gonna do just carpet. Now it undocked itself. I th it should redock itself and remove the mop pads. Well, normally it does. I don't know why it didn't do it on this time. I have it in the settings. I have it, I tell it to mop detach. Robot will remove the mop pads and vacuum carpets. Car and you can also do carpet, car clean carpets first when you're doing your whole house. But I don't know why it didn't do that, but it did recognize, so I have dog poop out there. So here it is coming back. What, did you figure out you had carpet? Now you gotta come back? Here's the testing I've got. I've got a small cable, I got some fake dog poop, and a bunch of dirt and debris. 
but now it's coming back hopefully to detach the mop pads okay so let's see it's washing the mop pads I'm not sure what's going on it should remove them yeah there it did okay so clunk you heard the clunk and it's going to tell me mop pads removed All right, now, normally that works. Normally it doesn't travel all the way out there. Normally it knows when it's gonna go do carpet to just remove them and then go do the carpet. So yeah, there they're left behind. Okay, so I told the Yuffie, I told it to also start cleaning that. Now it cannot remove the mop pads. Okay, so here is the dream and the Yuffie's on its way over. It just kind of sometimes takes a longer route. It went around. Sometimes it does that. Now both of them should, in the previous videos, both of them have recognized both of these objects, which are very important. Recognizing a small cable is really, really hard. And recognizing dog poop can be hard. Okay, so the Yuffie has started to clean. Now it raises the mop pads. You know, they're dragging a little bit, not too bad. But the you know, it has technology to where it will, it'll, it will at least clean the mop pads before it drags them across there. And it will also, you can have it do carpet first before it wets the mop pads. So you can have it do all the carpet and then come back and do the mopping. That way the mop pads in theory would be dry because you know, when it's sitting there overnight, they're dry and then it, could, it would not be wet as it's mopping, as it's vacuuming. Yeah, and as we noticed here, the Dream is going to ramp up its suction here in a second. It is a lot louder than the UV. Yeah, both of these are have some of the best obstacle avoidance. And again, there, the Dream just ramped up its suction. It's starting to vacuum again. So the Yuffie is staying away from it. Now that poop and that cable are below the LiDAR. So it has to really rely on that front sensor to sense it. Now the Yuffie's doing a good job. That's what they do. They, they go around it and then they kind of look at it, verify it. Yeah, see it verifies it. It'll take a picture of it. If you don't want that picture taking you can turn that off. If you turn it off, it still has the same obstacle avoidance. It's just not going to let you know what's there. Yeah, the Huffy's like really like, oh, this thing's, I'm really avoiding this thing. Yep. So it looks like the UV is avoiding that cable. It has sensed the cable and it's probably gonna take a picture of it right now. That's what it does when you see it backing up and looking at it. Okay, here's the UV. You can see we're in the same room. It already identified the pet waste and it even gives you a, usually a notification that, hey, there's pet waste. And see, there's me taking the video. There's the pet waste. And even the cable. There's the cable. I love when they do this. Now over here on the Dream, it also recognized the poop. See, if I click on it, it says pet feces. If we click a little farther, there's the picture of it. All right, the Yuffie says it's all done. It's going back home. The Dream got a little mixed up. All right, before it... I want to take a look at this. So let's take a look at the dust bin. Now you can see it did get quite a bit of stuff. There is quite a bit of stuff in there. Both of them struggle with leaving stuff in there. This is the door that opens up. I have noticed that both of them get kind of debris caught in that door because when they back up, they suck everything out of the side here. Yeah, everything's got to come out this little side port right here. And see, here's the dream. It sucks everything out of here and you open up this dustbin. You can see it gets some stuff. That door, that 
spring door get some stuff caught in it. This, you know, they both get a little bit of debris down in here sometimes. Here's everything. Yeah, the Dream did a good job picking up a lot of stuff, but it was there first. Yeah. Okay, so they both did a good job of vacuuming. They both avoided both the cable and the dog poop. So with the Dream, you do get a little bit bigger uh, dirty water tank and a clean water tank. You also get the solution tank where the UV you have to add the own solution, but I think that's okay. Okay, so let's turn them over and take a look. You can hear the Dream fan, it's very low. So let's take a look at the actual robots themselves. Now I have maintenance, I have videos on how to do all the maintenance on these. Here's the mop pads. They both use spinning mop pads. You can see they both, they can raise and lower the mop pads, but the Dream, it can move this mop pad in and out, depending on if it's next to the wall. That's kind of a neat feature. Is it worth twice the price? No, it's definitely not worth twice the price. Um, you see they both have a brush roller, single brush roller. Now, I want to show you that comb. That comb is not as fancy as you think. It's pretty low key how they do it. It's in the, the, this door here. And the brushes, when they turn backwards, they're going to hit this little lever and it brings the comb into contact with the brush. Now, does it go down there and grab everything? I don't know. It's hard. You mean you can't watch it. But that's the theory. I thought it was like a comb that was mechanical that they moved down in there, but it's just relying. When they rotate the brush backwards, it's going to hit this. Now, I do think the maintenance on both of these is very simple. I've done that a couple times now. This brush roller is so close to this door, you put the door on with the brush roller there. You don't. You could do that here, but it seems like you don't. I don't do it as much. You have to keep up on the maintenance of these. Again, these... You can just throw these in your laundry. This does a pretty good job of keeping them clean. Both those trays, you're going to have to take those trays out periodically and just clean them. There is a procedure for the Dream. It will put some water down there, let you scrub for a little bit, and then it sucks the water out. So it has kind of an, like an automatic cleaning station down there that you can do. Where the Dream, where the Eufy, you're just going to take that whole tray out, take it to the sink and clean it. Now, are these robots meant to replace a actual mop that does a, you know you can mop your floor with? No. But I think they do a really good job. Um, are they meant to replace a big handheld vacuum on carpet like a big Dyson? No. Dyson's going to get, or even a nice shark's going to get all the hair and stuff out of your carpet. These are just, put these on a schedule and you'll be amazed. I mean, they do work because the dust bags you're going to find, they, they fill up. So they are picking up a lot of stuff. They just don't get everything quite as good as an actual vacuum cleaner. But here's the thing with an actual, va with these. You put them on a schedule and and they're just they just work whereas you got to remember to get the vacuum out and vacuum where these you do have to do the maintenance on them i do maintenance once a month once in a month you're gonna have to clean those filters empty the dirty water tanks clean you have to you have to clean those dirty water tanks they will start stinking after a while that dirty water in there it's really dirty and you'll empty it out and you'll be like "Ooh, that stinks so you got to wash them out so again, if someday the price lowers on the Dream to where it's really competitive with the UV, then you're going to want, you know, if they were the same price, I would probably get the Dream. I would spend, for the features that the Dream has, I would spend $200 more than the UV. If the Dream was $1,000, um, I would spend, I would buy it. I did buy both these with my own money just because I, I want to, that way I can give you the honest review. The UV for $800, bucks, it's just an excellent robot vacuum cleaner. So be sure and check me out on Instagram. Look for my logo, Just a Dad videos on Instagram. I do free giveaways there and my Facebook group page. If you could hit a follow, that helps out my Instagram account. In there, you'll see behind the scenes. I just finished up doing which Roomba to buy. I've got all these Roombas here. I also branded my own coffee, Just a Dad Simple Sip Coffee. It's available in K-Cup, whole bean, or ground coffee already. And you can buy that at justadadcoffee.com. I also did a comparison with all of these robots. I got the Narwhal Frio X30, or I forget, Frio Ultra, Dream L10S, Q Revo Roborock. They've got a brand new Q Revo coming out. So I will be purchasing it. I will compare it to the old one and I'll compare it to these also. Uh, Roborock S8, you know, it's big, bulky. It, it actually does a pretty good job cleaning because when I empty these dirty water tanks, 
the S8 always has the most dirt in it. So, uh, you know, I don't necessarily like it, but it actually does a good job. L20, Dream L20, that's $1,000 right now, but it is big, bulky, but it does a good job. It's basically like an X30, except it doesn't use hot water and it's smaller. I also do lots of reviews on different Tinicos, which Tinico to buy. I've got the Shark. I'm really hoping for Shark to release a new Hydrovac. I got the Dream one, another Shark, and the Kimor. I really do love the Kimor. Also just did a review, $1,200 for a Dyson robot vacuum cleaner. Is it worth it? No, but it's actually pretty cool. Here we got the Roborock Q, that's the Q7 Plus. I also have a video coming out. Keurig just released this K-Mini Go. I got this at Target. Brand new Keurig. It's going to be competing with, yeah, it's, I don't know anything about it yet. Here we got the Walmart Beautiful Slim Espresso Maker from Beautiful. Bissell just released a brand new Crosswave. Don't know anything about it, but I bought it. Just finished up doing a bunch of uh, carpet cleaners. Uh, Shark just came out with this brand new one, uh, Stain Striker. This is the Walmart version, and it's definitely the one to get. And so this just came in from Amazon. I just bought it with my own money. This Shark released a brand new carpet cleaner. I, need, I don't know anything about it. I just found it, and like there's no advertising on it or nothing. Just finished up taking some pictures for some uh, videos I got with Shark, AI Ultra. We got the Ufi L60, the Eureka vacuum cleaner. So again, if you like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more robot vacuum cleaners. As soon as the new ones are released, I'm going to purchase them. And that way I can give you the honest review of would I spend that amount of money on that robot vacuum cleaner. Again, really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.